Okay, let's go. Okay, yes, I did just wake up from a nap. That's why I look like I was hit by a truck. Um, but good ass nap though. Rocking the the Yeti comfy pants. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You want to know why? Because comfy pants, people who hate on that shit, you don't even know. You don't even understand comfy pants like I understand. You need to get on the wave or go the fuck home. Anyways, the great poet, Leangelo Stevens, once wrote, Those who create progress instead of wait on it are the ones who achieve progress. Is that a real quote? No. Is that a real person? No. Is it a bar? Yes. Did I just write that bar? Freestyle off the dome? Yes. So what's progress? What What's progress today? Is it hitting a giant parlay and moving to the Bahamas? No. Is it drinking two Diet Cokes a day instead of seven? For some, maybe. Sometimes me, but not today. For me, the progress is the 90s. What's the 90s? Is it like paper roadmaps and bomber jackets and all that jazz? No. No, it's not. It's incline chest press dumbbells the dumbbells 90s obviously the long-term goal is to be able to rep the hundreds you know the big one zero zero but to get there you know i gotta get six to eight reps in 90s and 95s just just so i can be so fluent in butter with the hundreds that's the end goal also i'm still using i ran out of all my pre-workout right and usually i have like good pre-workout but all i have left is this free stuff off tiktok i made a video probably about a month ago you can go see it but I kind of talked about the pure account in the beginning that it's like actually like meth. Like it, it like like it makes you feel terrible. Like you will go in, you'll drink it. OK, have a pretty, pretty good lift. Like you're kind of kind of cooking. You kind of feel a little like wiry, but not in a good wiry, but like a, um, am I about to tweak out right now? Wiry. And then you get home and you get hit by a fucking semi truck and you feel like ass. And, and so it's just like, oh, kind of. It's like high high but it's not a high because you just kind of are like oh my god i'm a little uncomfortable with how tweaking i am and then you crash so fucking hard you crash and then you're like i never want to take it again but then the next day when i go when i go oh let's let's make my pre-workout guess what i have guess what i have fucking meth stuff you know i talked about it in the other video no font is the same on it. it it makes you like it is like so off market and you know what i look it up let's see the reviews right because uh, someone's gotta agree with me the reviews are all five star like oh great pre-workout lots of energy liars they're all bots probably I, I'm, I'm convinced no way someone takes that and they're like yo like i'm ready to have a long energetic healthy life no fucking way that stuff is death and but i don't want to pay i don't want to pay like 40 bucks for a new one so we're gonna endure death for the next however many lifts goals are important in your life you need to have a goal just like my goals are 100 if you don't have a goal um it's time to put on your big boy pants and figure out a goal in your life because it's just so much more fulfilling i appreciate every single one of you who's behind there in there subscribing liking doing all the good stuff i truly i truly do appreciate you y'all know but you know what time it is it's time to go. Da -da -da. Let's do it. Okay, y'all. Welcome back to your favorite part of the vid. We talking over the lift. Let's count out the 90s. That's one. We rocking the 90s today. We trying to get six to eight. Two. Give me three. I'm super slow on these reps. Like three. Here we go. Give me four. Give me five. Come on. Five. Give me six. Come on, give me seven. Give me one more. We're shooting for a hundreds now. Seven. Give me eight. Eight. Yo, give me nine. Nine. Ten? Ten. Oh, no. Didn't get ten. Half rep ten, but nine reps of 90. We are cooking for, for a hundreds. We're cooking for a hundreds. I'm about to move up to 95 next time. We were cranking that weight. We were cranking that weight. Loki watching that back, I'm kind of like, damn. For some reason, I thought I thought I only got like seven, but we just counted it out. And that, that was that was a solid nine. Then we're going on this machine. You know, it looks kind of goofy. I, I I get it, but something about the mind muscle and like the angle the bench is at, and like 
something about where everything's positioned it is a crazy chest pump like i've i've like very few machines like this have good mind muscle connection but this one feels great so i was wrapping this out if you have a machine someone like this or i guess it's just a press machine if you can get the right mind, mind muscle connection it can be a crazy 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 addition to your lift so check out your gym see if you got it it's pretty wild also make sure to go to failure on this one and you go as heavy as possible as we always talk about half rep the end go as heavy as possible do that whole spiel um crazy i was i was in pain after these then you know flies i don't love this fly machine but if you can get flies feeling right chest has been so much more about mind muscle connection lately um if you got the right mind muscle I've, I've almost dropped the weight a little so that I get the mind muscle and then just focus so much on the squeeze toward the end of my workout. When I'm doing the big heavy dumbbells at the start, I'll just focus on repping them. Obviously form, but focus on pushing, like power pushing weight. When I do things like this, I just make sure that I'm getting the right squeeze, that everything feels good. And make sure you're not doing too many sets. Like Two or three, uh, three sets of this is really all you need. You don't need to do seven sets with like 40 drop sets and 10 different weight changes. It's like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. As long as you're doing those two or three sets as hard as you possibly can until failure, that's all that's going to matter. I'm also focusing on my shoulders, keeping my shoulders dropped because sometimes I worry that my left shoulder is higher than my right shoulder, but we all good. We cranking them out. Then there's this machine. This shit, this machine looks like it's straight out of 1940s gym. Like you see those old montages and you're like, what is that? But surprisingly, when I used it, it is a crazy chest squeeze. It's like almost higher in my chest than when I do the flies. And I know it looks goofy and you're probably not gonna find this machine anywhere else, but something about this, I've been loving. Like it is like, it, it, it's almost like a better chest fly because my elbows are already in the right place. I don't have to worry about my shoulders. Like I literally just try to meet my elbows in the middle and it's a crazy squeeze. I've also been drop setting this too. Talk about drop sets. I drop set a lot of things, but I only do it for like two sets. So I'm not overdoing it in that sense. It's almost even a little weird to set up in that like I have to fully pull my arms behind my shoulders to get set up. But then once I get going, holy cow, my chest is on fire like it feels like i'm on like el diablo hot wings type beat on fire like my chest is so pumped after i do this usually like i know i'll talk about it at the end of this video how the lift went but usually like look at that in the back i'm doing like 40 pounds on the back because of how toasted my chest is but that's all you want that's all that's all that should matter i appreciate you guys watching like and subscribe all right y'all Pretty good chest day overall. You know, it wasn't like a Patrick Bateman, Batman chest day, but like, it got it done. Sometimes I feel a little discombobulated, like, I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm doing next. And I feel like I gotta start making more of a plan now so that's more focused. I'm always more focused when I know exactly what I'm doing. I start off strong on something. I'm just trying to make sure I have the best mind muscle, best pump I can possibly get. So sometimes if I'm not like fully exhaust till failure, I kind of feel like, oh, was it a mid lift? But I think that's good to never be satisfied with what you're doing and always have a goal that you're pushing toward. But if the best people were satisfied, then they wouldn't get anything done. So it was a midday. I'm gonna see if I can show it. It's hard for me to show my chest because I'm still tubby. Tubby boy, I'm trying to cut down, but we'll see what we can do. No man. I feel like I look mid. I got so much fucking work to do. It's unreal. So much work to do. But I appreciate you being here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, I love working toward my goal. I love that you guys are working toward goals. And we're gonna get better. We're gonna get stronger. We're gonna get bigger. You know, I appreciate all y'all. Y'all, y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next vid. Peace.